Hello, are you looking for the evidence analysis you need when writing about the character Dr. Lanyon? Well, look no further. The aim of this video is to provide you with all the information you need to help you achieve the very highest marks when being asked to explore Dr. Lanyon in the novella The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. All I do now is run through a plethora of key quotes and analysis that you can include. So let's begin. It is more than 10 years since Henry Jekyll became too fanciful for me. He began to go wrong, wrong in the mind. And no, of course, I continue to take an interest in him for old sake's sake. As I say, I see and I have seen devilish little of the man. Such unscientific balderdash. Lanyon sees the work of Jekyll as fanciful, suggesting he's a dreamer and someone who goes against the norms of science. The repetition of wrong indicates the deep concern the character has for his friend, whilst the now mind reflects a psychological exploration which is central to the themes of the text. Balderdash also indicates that the character believes the work of Jekyll is nonsense. This helps to highlight the extreme shock Lanyon later feels when he eventually sees the truth. The rosy man had grown pale. The character had now changed from one full of life and happiness. So, the character has now changed, as I said, from one full of happiness, as seen for the adjective rosy, to someone who is now close to death, pale. The verb groan indicates that this is uh, due to the interaction with Jekyll, and that's why this has occurred. Oh God, I screamed, and God again and again, for there before my eyes, pale and shaken, and half fainting, groping before him with his hands, like a man restored from death, there stood Henry Jekyll. The transformation in the mind of the character is like restoring someone from death. The pauses here help to indicate that the character is unable to fully comprehend what he has witnessed. The exclamatory sentence shows that the character has now lost his sensible control and that transformation of Hyde has forced him to question what is true or not in this world. The actions of Jekyll seem to defy science and God and his fear of science, a reflection of society, shakes Lanyon to his core. The character who represents rationalism is now unable to function in a rational manner any longer. The deadliest terrors sit by me at all hours of day and night. I feel that my days are numbered and that I must die, and yet I shall die incredulous. As for the moral turpitude of the man unveiled to me, even with tears of penitence, I cannot, even in memory, dwell on it without a start of horror. Witnessing the transformation is what led to the death of Lanyon. The fear that the character now feels is reflected in words such as a superlative deadliest to indicate that there is nothing more deadly, terror, psychological torture, and horror, the physical fear. There is a complete breakdown by the character due to the figure of Hyde and the transformation. So there's a great selection of key quotes you can use in your essays. It's now time for you to practice using them and revise. So thank you and good luck.